Cracker Jack. Right now we're taking rainbow trout, trying to see the movement in the lower mountain fork. So we want to see how far they're moving in the stream so we have a better understanding how our stockings are uh, working throughout the park here. Do we need to stock more in some areas or do we need to stock less? We've been stocking trout here for about 30 years and we want to get a better understanding of how the trout are moving within the stream. Right now we're piercing them on the top dorsal and then we're twist tying it so it stays secure and it can stay on the fish. 40-60. <laughs> Trout are known to jump about seven to eight feet over barriers and they can swim up to 25 miles per hour in about three seconds. So these fish are able to do it, we want to see if they can do it. So that's why we're using these Pink Floyd tags here to report the fish once they're caught. If you catch a trout with a pink tag or a green tag, please call the number that's listed on the fish or there's signs throughout the whole park. I need the time the fish was caught, the tag number, and what locations. And you can use the signs throughout the park. At the bottom it has a sign number correlating that. Or you can give me GPS points to have a better understanding where you caught that fish. As much detail as you can, there's a QR code or you can call my phone numbers that's listed or give me a text. That's greatly appreciated and everything you a report to me helps get a better understand of the fisheries here in Oklahoma.